Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and in today's video I just want to have a little bit of a rant about the legendary system in 735. First of all, welcome everybody to patch 735. We got Celestus, which is a brand new BG. There's probably going to be more stuff when it comes to artifact weapons and the story, which I just didn't feel like making a video to spoil any of that. Uh, Allied races should be coming out hopefully very, very soon. And then BFA is the next thing for us to look forward to. Patch 735 is going to be the last patch, the last major patch of the expansion. So this is super exciting and I cannot wait to get into BFA. In 735, one of the things they added, a couple things they actually added, is one, a new leveling system with new world scaling, which I'm super happy about. The second is a way for you to have a guarantee for LEGO farming methods. Now you have a guarantee way of farming your legendaries, which for some players is a good deal. For others, this is a little bit of a tricky deal. The legendary farm system is a system where you do a bunch of your dailies, a bunch of your uh, weekly caps, like for example, your twos weekly, threes weekly, RBG weekly, your mythic plus, your emissary chest, a bunch of your weekly dailies basically. Grant you this resource in order to be able to either upgrade your Legos, which is something we've been doing for a while, or now you'll be able to synthesize a legendary for your class. One of the things that I'm excited about since my main rogue is capped out on all the legendaries you can unlock, besides, you know, auction house legendaries, right now I'm able to go and get legendaries for other classes, and I actually get to experience this, but in a weird wonky way. See, I have a couple different classes on US, and I have a couple different classes on EU. I recently got my warrior to level 110 on Europe, and when I was playing a little bit of US Mythic Plus, I end up getting a legendary, but for a warrior. I play my warrior on EU, but I get the legendary on US. So all I can do is just give my warrior that's level 102, the uh, Kill Jaden's Cunning legendary, which is actually not a bad legendary for uh, warriors in general for DPS. But I was a little bit saddened by it because there was thought, man, this is so much RNG. I guess I'm a little bit tired. Uh, we've been a while. We've been in Legion for quite a while. And I guess. I'm, from a PvE perspective, I'm getting a little bit tired of like all the RNG, especially with the legendary system. I would love to just be able to get legendaries for my warlock, my hunter, my priest, and even my EU characters, and just be able to gear them out and really try to play these classes with various legendaries. As I'm playing my rogue, I'm actually getting to around to playing with my Legos. I can have an AoE build, I can have a sustain build, I can have a crazy burst build, a survivability build, and it's just super cool. Legendary system isn't the best system, but I did like what we had of it, especially how we got to use it during the Mage Tower challenges. Some classes needed some DPS Legos, others needed some ability, others needed some utility, and I like the variety that everybody had, the experiences and whatnot. And I feel like at this point in Legion, we're in the last patch, I would be perfectly okay if Blizzard just allowed everybody to go and have a last hurrah, last huzzah, and let us experience what's it like to play with like best in slot legendaries at this point. Like, it's just been so long, we've been waiting for this for quite a while, and now that we have a system of farming Legos, it really does still get plagued by RNG. The RNG I'm talking about is, whenever I'm on my main rogue, and I end up getting a Lego from a warrior, because I'm capped, I get a random box for a random class. It's a box that will have a Lego, but which class is it is completely random. And again, it goes back to the whole RNG deal. Not a huge, huge fan of RNG anymore, gang. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe it's just in the moment kind of deal and I'm just recording this. But, I don't know, it just feels exhausting, you know? Now I'm going to be on my main rogue farming every week for a legendary with like some hope that hopefully it'll be a priest box. Hopefully it'll be a warlock box. Hopefully it'll be a hunter box. But it could honestly end up being a paladin box while I'm leveling a paladin, which I'm actually preparing to level a paladin on Wednesday. On EU so I'll be leveling the Paladin on EU Wednesday and uh, the game is probably gonna try to reward me for a Paladin Lego on US also on Wednesday for all we know I'm just gonna try I'm just kind of hoping and I'm still hoping that Blizzard might maybe fixes this a little bit it'll be cool and I think it'll be a good idea again mostly because it is the last patch of the expansion mostly because this whole Lego system isn't making it into the next patch just allow players at this point it just what are you losing at this point? Just allow players to play around with the legendaries. Allow them to play around with different builds. Allow them to play around with different alts because legends are still important in Legion. So might as well. 
but would be awesome at least. I know if they want to keep the legendary, like let's say you don't get to choose which legendary you want. You don't get to choose the best slot. You get a random legendary, but at least you get one once a week. So that is still a lot to ask for. Maybe if the game at least restricted which legendaries it will drop for you. Let's say if it drops your random boxes for random classes and you're somebody like me who wants to gear out your ult so bad you're willing to do this all over on your main, on your ults, just to get as much gear for everybody else, just so you can play around different builds and really try push numbers, learn specializations and learn specs that you'll play as alts, maybe for the next expansion or even brand new mains, which is something I'm not gonna look for. I'm gonna probably stick with my outlaw because so far I've been enjoying it. But I would love a system that would take a look and say, okay, you have a alt at level 110 as a priest, warlock, hunter, so we're gonna try to limit those legends for you. Yeah, it would be, it'd be uh, at least if we had a higher chance to get legends for those classes that are max level, and maybe like a lower chance for classes that are at least level 100 and started the Legion storyline in, in the new Dalaran. I think something like that would be awesome because that would be obnoxious. Let's say. Let's say you are a, uh, let's say you, you barely play any alts, you only have two characters, you have a rogue and then let's say demon hunter is something you've been really getting into. And every week you're somebody who's dedicated and you're trying to get as many legos as you can, you're doing all this lego farming on your rogue, you're doing this lego farming on your demon hunter. You actually get a lego for your demon hunter but on your rogue you end up getting a box for a mage. And you have zero interest in doing the mage. And then next week you get a box for a warlock. Next week you get a box for a priest. Of course, I'm describing the worst possible situation, but I feel like maybe it's just one of those things where I think it's just one of those tactics that Blizzard is using right now in order to keep you playing the game and keep you paying for the game, like uh, keep you sub, you know, updated and refreshed back to back to back. I feel like, you know, it's just so late into the expansion. It'd be so nice for them to just let loose a little bit and this RNG system not to be as bogging as it, it kind of has been in the moments. Personally, I'm okay when it comes to one class. When it comes to playing just one class solo, the legend system is not bad. I play my rogue plenty, I got lucky enough to get the best, best slot Legos, and even right now I'm not wearing best and slot, but I'm making it work because I'm having to adjust my four piece bonus. For one character, it's not bad, but I'm somebody who's multi. Uh, playing as many classes as possible. I'm multi-classing. I'm at least learning them at a very very base level so I can have fun with them in PvE or PvP. So for me to be able to just get a random Lego for a class I actually can't get or I'm actually not leveling on US, it just feels a little asinine I guess. I don't know, I just felt like venting all this on here. But let me know your guys' thoughts. I really think that we should honestly tone down the RNG at this point, like this late into the expansion. It'd be so nice, it'd be so great just to be able to experience classes how, I guess, they were meant to be experienced. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe if you want to see more updates for 735. If you want to see more videos for, uh, I guess we'll be doing the uh, Silithus BG a lot more, so I'll have the updates for you for that. All the BFA updates as well as Fire Fire only ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you didn't uh, mind this kind of uh, ranty video for the day. And uh, of course, as always, I'll see you guys all in another video.